Hi everyone, hope you're all keeping well. Today I'm going to demonstrate uh, harvesting feathers, what feathers to take or what feathers to harvest from a, a cock pheasant or uh, also known as a rooster pheasant but here in Ireland we commonly call them a, a cock pheasant and um, basically you know if you're into the fly tying you do a bit of hunting and you have a, a pheasant and you want to start harvesting your own pheasants your own feathers um, I'm going to demonstrate what feathers to take okay um, I'm going to wrap I have just some kitchen paper here and I'm going to wrap the head just he was shot this bird was shot in the head and I had, that's why I have it resting on kitchen paper there and it's going to wrap the head because the head is, is bleeding quite profusely actually so just not to destroy the rest of the feathers and, and uh, just so I can demonstrate when I'm turning the bird and stuff I'll, um, I'll just wrap that head so the blood can drip out into that but anyway um, basically um, cock pheasant um, there is very few birds uh, that offer such an array of and a variety of, of feathers. Um, you, you won't get you won't get many birds out there that will give you the, the, the quantity, um, the colours. You know the, the different the, the various different feathers you're you're going to get off this bird. Not many birds out there for the fly time will, will will give you what a pheasant a cock pheasant will. Um, so basically, you know one one bird has a lot of feathers on it, um, and uh, we'll, we'll go through it there now. What, what feathers to take? Um, I'll start with the tail, and if 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 I turn this here, you can actually see this. This is quite a fine, quite a fine bird. Um, you can see the the length of the the tail feathers on this bird. Um, they're quite good long. Okay, so any any flight hire or any person that's into flight tying um, will obviously be familiar with the, the tail feathers of a of a pheasant. Um, they're basically uh, from a even if you're a beginner, it's 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 one of the first feathers that you get introduced to is, is the tail feathers of a, of a, a cock pheasant, and um, you know tie a very very simple fly and the pheasant tail nymph, and again it's a very very popular fly, and no matter what way you tie it, you're always going to catch fish on it. So this is a really good tail um, for cock pheasant now because the tail feathers for one are are very very long. It's a it's a specimen bird, but um, you can see the fibers fibers are, are really long on these tails so you know you'll get you'll get good good patterns on them as well so you, you will get good nymphs off these so generally just just to take the tail fe the feathers they're a little bit tough to pull but we just pull them out one by one um, they're a must never leave these in any pheasant what I will do with all my feathers is I freeze them just to bug proof them because the last thing you want is uh, is um, any bugs getting in or an infestation getting into your your materials and then having to throw your materials it's 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 the flight tires nightmare so um, you can see all these here all these tail feathers really good not to be left the tie really good flies really good nymphs good for tails good for legs um, and daddy long legs and stuff um, so really good um, I've got all the best of the ones there now the long tail feathers there and just to show you just to show you the to, just the way it was lying but the length of them that's that's, that's a really good tail feather and the, the patterns on it it's just the way it was lying what I'll do is I'll put this over a hot kettle steam it and bring it back into uh, to bring it back into into shape and stuff um, so moving up we're going to go into the rump okay so you've pulled the tail feathers now you're coming up onto the rump so the rump is this part here and if you turn the bird you'll see it just here and I just move this it's this part that sits just down onto the tail feathers um, and it, it has really good again really soft feathers um, they're, they're basically these here are a good substitution for heron feathers and stuff. Um, good for salmon flies, good for uh, streamers, you know, they're they're nice and soft so they, they can do nice hackles on wet flies as well. Very very, uh, look I always take these so, and sometimes what I do is, is what I'll do is if I'm doing a whole bird or a whole skin I'll, I'll, I'll take the whole patch of a rump just from, basically from here. 
I'll come down and take this whole patch of skin, preserve it. But today I will just I'll just demonstrate pulling the the, the feathers today. But all these rump feathers, um, if you lift them up just above the tail, where the tail sits there, you'll see all these rump feathers. Just move the wing. They come down around the sides of the bird as well. Okay, really good rump feathers for uh, for for tying. Like I said, wet flies, they're good for like um, harness of shoes and stuff like that, streamers, and they make nice hackles and stuff. So if I pull one here, I'll, sh I'll show you what we're looking at. So, so if you can see that there, there's a lot of, bit of down feather on it as well, a lot of down on, the, on, on this stuff, a lot of fluff. But if you just pull them away, You're left with these, and these make really nice. These are really nice feathers, really soft. Um, try to make like a, a partridge hackle of that, like they're again really good. So all these feathers here in the rump can be can be taken. Now, like 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 I've said on my previous videos, when I was taking the feathers from ducks and stuff, every feather can be used for fly tying. Um, it, again, it's there's there's not a there's not a a certain amount of feathers that you can you can you just take off a pheasant. Whatever you whatever the individual you are um, whatever flies you're tying like I said if you're before if you're uh, if you're tying your own patterns uh, if you're doing spin-offs of other patterns um, you know every feather can be used it just comes down to the individual and um, we're going to come back up now right so like you've done you, you've got the thing but there's a one thing that always gets missed by a lot of people when they're when they're doing this is a pheasant has uh, an under plumage basically and um, it's 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 underneath if, if I can find it now I'll show you it's underneath all the feathers here and I, if you can see that there that basically that is it's like fluffy it's like fluffy down underneath all the feathers and this is really good stuff this is um, believe it or not this is a good substitute for marabou so it is. It's it's a really really good. It's it's very very soft. It's probably the softest feather on the on the bird because it's it's a downy feather. Um, but again, the under the under body plumage. Um, it, it's like I use it on on like streamers for you know if, if small streamers or that like and I'm I'm you know want to tie in instead of, instead of basically marabou like you can you can use this. Um, it's a really good substitute for marabou, and uh, really good. Again, gets missed by a lot of people. A lot of people don't bother with it, but definitely having a few bags of that. Now, as you come down towards the rump and towards the tail, you know you start to get the more um, the more coarser feathers, like uh, like the rump feathers and stuff. But as you come back up into the bird, um, the down feathers are basically softer and stuff like that. So, really, you know, really good one to take and not to be left on the bird. Um, like I said, someday you know you want to you're looking for a super shoe for Mar Marabou. Um, that's that's your silver shoe. Really good feather for it. Okay. Um, we're going to come up um, and I'm going to go into the shoulders. Okay, the church windows, commonly known, and you've probably heard the name of, of, of the church windows. So, church windows are basically these feathers here. I'm going to pull one now and I'll show you. So, this is a church window. Or the shoulder feathers of a of a pheasant. Um, again, um, really good. They're really soft, and uh, again, wets, streamers, wings, um, you name it. You you can use these these feathers for. Um, and you'll see these feathers. Basically, if I turn the bird, you'll see these feathers. They come to start on on where like the shoulder is here. So if you lift up here, they'll start here, and basically they. You can actually get your hand under the whole wing, the whole group of them, and pull them as one set. So you can have a right and a left. Um, and I'll demonstrate it there. The bird is a bit frozen there, but uh, he was a bit frozen, a bit stuff, but or a bit tough still. But you'll see that there. So I'll put a little bit of flesh with that there. So I just and what I'll do is I'll I'll just stick that in a little bit of borax, a dip it in borax. And I'll uh, preserve that little bit of flesh there, but but there your uh, your shoulders, you're kind of just above your wings, and you're coming up. You've got all these ones here. These are all your. Again, um, I'll pull one here now, and I'll show you. These are your shoulder feathers, your church windows. Okay, 
um, you've got the bigger ones as you come down along into the middle of the shoulders and into the middle of the back up here you've got your bigger uh, church windows but again um, or your bigger shoulder feathers but they, they come down onto the rump and you can see that there so basically you have your your, your shoulder feathers here on the bird so we have it with the head here I'll just take the head out there out of the way so where we have the head okay and we have the neck feathers here and we're coming down onto the shoulder feathers between the two wings and just all these here are the church, your church windows and you can see them there you can see the nice designs on them and they come down onto the rump and you can't mix them up like they're, they're very um like you know the, the, the rump is 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 very it's more kind of a furrier uh feather but the church windows are a more nice iridescent design on them lovely very nice so they're definitely going to be taken now i'm not going to pluck the whole bird here today i'm not going to strip all the feathers but all these feathers here um definitely uh i use these i use these for wets and stuff um so like they're all good good quantity them um on the other side here you'll have the same thing again um and these feathers always on every bird is the same so every 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 bird has these feathers on the shoulders and down on the flank um, and you can you can you'll generally be able to pull them by just getting your hand in under them and just uh just pulling them out and you'll have a right and left there as well um and then you come up as you come up then you'll have the bigger the bigger wind the bigger church windows or bigger shoulder feathers um coming into the middle of the back but uh really good and i generally i'll bag all them up so we'll um take all them there um you have the golden slides basically so on a duck or on a bird you have the flank feathers i'll turn it around this way and we'll show them. next ones i usually take are the golden slides and you'll be familiar with them they're these golden kind of almondy maroony colors here um coming down under the wing and again um these are be these would be the flank feathers as well but um you can see them hearts is what they're generally called as well or golden hearts or um, almond hearts or that there's various names for them but the golden slides is, is generally what you, you'd see them um advertised for on, on websites and stuff for sale and them feathers there very very good feathers um again uh great for creating nice wings um on, on various caddis patterns um you know things like that like um if you're doing caddis patterns or you're doing wing sets and stuff like that these make lovely wing sets okay um and again like like any flank feather you, you want to take them in a bunch just get your hand up and underneath them just like that and just pull them and they come off and you can see them there really nice feathers and I'll just take one over there that's a golden slide that's what you're looking for you get them just under the wing set so you will just I'll put a little bit of a room feather out there so you get them just under the wing set and then coming up um you get the bigger ones just under the wings and then where uh, or the flank feathers and you get the smaller ones then coming up into the chest or into the neck um so all of them again i generally i pull all these um pheasant a pheasant feather uh, skin is a little bit delicate so when you're when you're doing this it's not uncommon to um to pull the skin with the feathers okay so but you can see that there and that's what you're you're generally going for so they're the golden slides or almond or maroon hearts um various names for them but you'll you'll you'll, you'll you can't mistake them um again the belly feathers um i i do take them belly feathers i can show you them here um there's a nice little round feather and it's a it's a more of a kind of a uh, it's a really soft feather and again I use that for wings and or not for wings uh, for wet flies um, nice soft hackle going on to a wet fly um, again the belly feathers of a pheasant are really good and you get all them belly feathers just if you turn the bird basically just coming down between the legs so they, they, they extend all down to the legs and from the chest from the breast down all them feathers there um, can be taken okay the same on the other side if you just this is a really good example of the church windows now um, just on top of the wing set as well there you can see them there so really good okay and um, these are the smaller sets now because um, when, when you come up into the shoulder you have the big ones but um, I'll try and take these ones 
and you'll see them there. Really good feathers. So they're the church windows, okay? Um, not to be left on the board. Um, the head and neck, again, very good feathers. Um, basically, if uh, the head and neck, um, they make good, good spent wings. Um, so I have the neck feathers are quite small, but you've got a lovely green iridescent, and this bird is quite shut up in the head, so I, I can't really just demonstrate it properly. But you've got a lovely iridescent kind of a greeny blue hue coming down off the head down onto the neck feathers are really good Now the neck feathers are really small but again I, li I like to use these for spent wings and stuff like that and I'll just pull it I'll try to get a good one now and I can show you so really really good for here we go so really good for like spent wings and stuff they're kind of like a little heart shape feather but they're really good for for um, for spent wings. I, I I like doing them, using them. So again, can all be taken. So the neck feathers coming up, the head feathers again, small little feathers, tiny feathers. You've got a lovely green. Um, I won't be taking them on this one now because he's, he's shot up on the head. But uh, you've got a lovely green um, headband here on on the pheasant. Again, lovely. Um, and you, you'll, you'll get nice flies with that there. Again, can be used for tailing materials. Uh, can be used for uh, like can be used for like small soft hackles and stuff, but all the neck feathers, the whites, the the back ones here, can all be used for for tying spent wings and stuff. But as you come down, you're coming back down into your your church windows and stuff. And these are the most popular feathers with with the the golden slides. The golden slides that extend from the wing. I said I haven't taken them all here, but there's all the golden sides. So the golden sides extend from the tip of the wing. So generally, where the wing is here is where your golden sides will start, and they'll come right down to the back of, of the legs, and that's where they'll the generally start. So I think you can see them there. I haven't taken them all. I will do it off camera. I'll, I'll, I'll go and I'll take them all properly. But um, there, are, there are feathers you can take there. Um, the wing. Um, again, I generally cut the wing as close to the body as I can. Um, but again, look, you have all these really good um, quill feathers, and these are good for, for again wing sets on wet flies and, and and stuff like that. And all them there can be used. It's it's quite a big wing, quite a, a really good wing. Um, you can see that there. So there are your primary feathers here. So all these primary feathers here can be used for. Generally, what I use them for is is creating wing sets on on the likes of wet flies, and um, they're really good for creating wings on on sedges as well. I, I actually use them um, uh, with scotch tape um, to create a little pattern, and I put them on my sedges for the the primaries, them and and the ones off the hens. Um, the secondaries then coming down again, good feathers, good good to not not to be left. Um, you've got smaller feathers up here; they're a bit bit fine or a bit they're a bit coarse. A bit hard. Um, I'd use these for tails. Um, so if I'm looking for a kind of a a, a brownie or kind of a maroony coloured tail, um, you know, really good tail material there. Um, like the, they're kind of similar to the pheasant tail um, fibres. So they, they wouldn't be they wouldn't make great hackles and stuff like that. Like, but good for tails and stuff. Um, so generally, what I do is uh, I, I I don't usually pull the quills um, on on pheasants. What I do is I take the whole wing. And preserve it so cut out the inside here and I'll put up another video I've done one on ducks and um, I'll attach the link in in the description um, on how to clean out the duck one but I'll do another one on the on, on a pheasant because I'll do these in in the coming days or coming weeks and uh, I'll show how to clean them out so but I generally take all these wings and I just I, I do them as a whole and so I have basically when I need them then I just open up the 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 pack and just take a wing. I can I can pull what I want off it when I want. Um, so that's that's generally what I do with my 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 my, fe uh, my pheasant feathers. Um, I just ha I have here. This is what I done. So if you I have a whole skin here actually that I done. Uh, basically done it from the neck. I took basically and you can see that there. That's the whole pheasant skin that I, I preserved earlier. Um, I, I was actually preserved it last year. Uh, preserved it earlier this year, but it was a bird I got. Uh, I was given last year. And basically, what it is is, it's, I've taken from the neck. Um, 
and I've taken it all down the back just to where the end of the rump um, and it's again it's a uh, really good and it's captured some of the slides it's captured all the main feathers that I, I needed so it's got all the slides it's got the golden slides it's got the church windows and um, so but again look I'll put another reopen demonstrating that but um, that's that's uh, that's basically it like that you know so you have we've touched on the, the pheasant tails um, your golden slides which are just under the wing um, we have your church windows that are basically just up on the back as you come up along here so after the rump and you come up you have your church windows so really good feathers to take and never to be left on it um, your rump feather um, sorry your, your rump feather okay is all this here and you can't mix it up you, you'll, you'll see it straight away it's that kind of hairy feather um, type feather that's on the back of the bird you'll see it when you're um, you can't mix it up and it comes up and then you'll see the church windows starting to tie into the into the rump and that's where the rump ends okay so you have that there that's really good really soft you can actually run your fingers through that there it's really soft um, and all your church windows there then and that comes the rump comes down just onto the tail um, the belly feathers like I said can be taken the neck feathers uh, really good feathers to be taken uh, there's, there's not a lot of feathers that, that you, you'd leave on a pheasant to be honest um, but definitely one to, to, to be aware of is the marabou type feathers so it's that underbody plumage and if I look at the belly you'll actually see it here now so if I lift the belly it's, it's actually a, just under the wing it's actually a, an ideal place to, to pick it and you'll actually see it all there so that underbody plumage is a really good feather um, and you'd be surprised how good and how effective that is in replacing marble it's you see even how wavy it is it's it's a it's it's an unbelievably soft feather but all that there and there's a serious amount of this on this bird it's all over the bird um, it's it's up smaller ones as you come up into the neck feathers you'll see the smaller on, uh, underbody plumage but the really good ones the ones worth taking and the ones worth using um, are all from the breast down to the legs down into the, the between the legs really good all around under the wings on the back of the bird and down into the rump touching the tail feathers that's where you'll get all that really good marabou type feathers the underbody plumage um, so basically definitely take that off the bird when you're when you're looking for it um, so basically that that's that's it I'm not going to um, go in and into detail in, in like um, and pluck the bird here on camera but again um, you know we have touched on it what what you do need to take off the bird and it's uh, like there is some really good feathers like on this side here you have all the under under um, you have the golden sides here under the wing okay and um, again really really good so what I generally do is I'll, I'll pluck them all individually and I bag them up um, I don't generally um, I, I pull the a left and a the right there or I pull the, a whole one there just to show you how easy they are to pull but you can um, you can just pull them all individually and bag them up um, and again you know, really good feathers for dyeing. The rump feather, just want to touch on that there. If you if you're getting into kind of getting into dyeing feathers, um these here are really good for, for uh dyeing feathers. Um so um look I, I hope that's uh I hope it's it's been helpful. Um the only thing I, I will say about a pheasant is um unlike a duck, the skin is very, very soft. So like I said earlier on it's not uncommon to um to pull a bit of skin or break the skin when you're when you're pulling the feathers. But uh you know it, it's a soft it's a very very soft uh, soft soft board um, but again um, that's that's basically that is it so basically the whole bird that I just covered there from the head the neck coming down into the shoulders the church windows coming down onto the rump um, the tail the wings okay the golden slides um, the underbody butter plumage um, it's, it's all great stuff to be used and um, it's, it's, it's not to be left on the bird um, like there's, there's really good uses for it and you mean you'll, you'll pay top top dollar for, for pheasant feathers you know you, you know the underbody plumage you don't get in a lot of shops but you know um, people people quite really haven't copped onto it but it, it is it is good um, but you, you, you'll pay you know you could you could pay three four euro 
um, five euro for a pack of uh, church windows. Um, you could pay the same for golden slides. So you know, it's 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 good feathers to be taken off if you, if you're if you're getting into it. Um, but look, I, I hope this has been a helpful video. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, uh, like the videos, and feel free to comment, ask any questions, and I can come back to you. That's no problem. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, really appreciate it. Thanks for your support.